All right, we've got to talk about this whole copying games and developers copying other games situation that continues to keep going because right now, as it clearly stands, Sony has released its biggest flop game in PlayStation history. And honestly, it may actually be the worst game ever released. Not just for from Sony first party, but games worldwide in gaming history. Yes, we are talking about Concord. Concord was just released just a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago, fairly recent, and it's actually been not very good. Like, when it comes to player counts in the sales figures, it's not very good at all. And we've actually had games that were worse, but also still managed to have more player counts and still sold more than what Concord has. And we're talking Suicide Squad. We're also talking Xbox's disaster game from last year, Redfall. Even Redfall actually had more players and sold a little bit more than what Concord has, even though Redfall was considered Xbox's worst game launch in 2023. But Concord takes it to the next level. And I kind of get an idea like as to why the Concord has failed tremendously, even compared to games like Redfall, Suicide Squad, and countless of other games that were considered failures. But Concord, on the first one or two days of launch, only had peaked out at like 602 players on Steam. And then, just today, or yesterday, however, it was now actually showed a total player count of 54 players on Steam. That's really, really not great. That is not good at all. And Redfall had a lot more players than what Concord has. It had more players on its launch, and it had more players after a little bit after launch than what Concord has right now with its total 54 players on Steam. But Concord is Sony's worst first-party game, and like I mentioned, it's also probably the worst game ever released in just gaming history. So now, when it comes to a first-party game worst in history, and people are going to say... Xbox has had the worst games ever. But guess what? PlayStation has now taken that crown with Concord as being the worst first-party game ever released with only 25,000 sales of units. And that's actually on how much units that it has only sold, 25,000. And that's not very good at all especially within the first week or two since its initial launch. It is just not very good. Not even hitting 100 million, or sorry, 100,000 sales. And even that is still not even very good, but it's not even hit half of that. So yeah, Concord is the worst game ever to like be released. And now, because it is the worst game in history, well... PlayStation has now taken that crown as the worst first-party game release ever. Not Xbox no more. Even though I know people are going to say in the comment section, oh, bro, Xbox has had so many bad games released. Xbox is just mid not great. Look at Sony's first-party games. Well, yeah, it is true. But guess what? PlayStation has now taken the crown as being the worst first party game release ever with the number less player counts and less units sold than any of Microsoft's first party games that released bad on the Xbox platform like 
Redfall actually did better. Even though it was considered a failure, it still sold and had more players than what Concord has right now. When it launched late or early last year, it should say, in 2023. So, honestly, yeah, Concord is a lot worse than what all of us expected it to be. And you got other big games or other failure games that did better than what Concord has. And this is the whole situation. Like, this is what is causing this to happen. All of these developers, but the mainly the higher ups, just want to copy every other game. And they think because they're successful that they can take that crown and take it away from them. But that doesn't always work. But now you have to look at like games like Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, which are the two most popular battle royale games out there. And then you got Apex Legends and Players Unknown Battlegrounds, which are both the second most popular battle royale games. But if any other developer or publisher wants to make a game like that and steal it from them, it's just going to be a failure. Because people don't want the exact same games over, over, and over, and over, and over. People want new experiences. Not copy every single developer just to make a quick buck. And that's what these higher higher CEOs of these publishers and developers just look at as. They look at, oh, dang, Fortnite, wow, wow. Fortnite is making big bucks. Hey, guys, we got to do this. We got to make a game like Fortnite. If we were going to make money, we got to make... And that just doesn't work. And when it gets to the point that these higher-ups just want to keep making like the same exact game, it's just petty. It is just misleading. It's just anti-consumer because people don't want the exact same type of game. And that is why that there's games like Concord that are huge failures because there's already like games like it. 5v5, 4v4, 6v6 type of games like it. Overwatch is one of the games. And what makes it even more interesting is that ever since Overwatch 2 released almost two years ago, it is a free-to-play game. And that is really popular. But I think this is another reason why Concord is a huge failure. People have to pay 40 bucks for a game that's a lot smaller and it is not huge as Overwatch. When you got Overwatch that has countless more players, and even if it was for a price tag, more people would buy it and buy it over Concord but it's actually free to play. So, a bigger game that's more popular and it is free to play rather than a smaller game with less content and $40 price tag, you, you kind of see where it's kind of all coming from. It doesn't make any sense. But the developers in Sony may have a chance if they actually make the game free to play. Now, I know for those 25,000 or 30,000 or however many units that they've sold before they make that decision, I know that they're going to be mad for paying a game after it's going free to play. But Sony and that developer of Concord may have a possibility of coming back a little bit. Now, they're not going to go up to like, you know, Overwatch's sales and player counts and such like that, but they might actually get some more players and more people to play it and make the game's lifespan expand it to a little bit longer if they make it free to play. But when you think about it, $40 to pay for a small game with less content rather than get it a popular game that is Overwatch that a lot of people like to play that has countless of different content and it's free to play, that's kind of like where it Concord is a huge failure. Because you got Overwatch, 
And then you also got Paladins, that is a similar game. And those games are both free to play, rather than pay a $40 game with less content, less features and such. And that's practically the same game. So when you look at it like that, why would somebody pay 40 bucks when they got a couple other selections that are free to play? Oh, I'll just pick the free games. That's what's going to going to happen. So those right there are definitely the huge reasons as to why Concord is a big failure and just is the biggest flop in PlayStation history. And now, like I stated, Sony has got that crown as being the worst first party release ever. Microsoft does not have it no more. Now Sony does. So, other than that, at this point, the only way they can save the game and save the developers is if they make the game free to play. At this point, Concord is just going to continue to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the grave. And it's just not going to be a game ever again. And probably servers are going to get shut down. But at this point, that's the only thing Sony can hope for is to make it free to play and to get maybe hopeful of some more players other than that to expand its lifetime. But yeah, other than that, that's all Sony can really do at this point is make it free to play. Because when you look at Overwatch, Pal Paladins and such, when you got two other similar games that are free to play, it's, it's a no-brainer. And honestly, those games probably play better and have, like I stated in Overwatch, Overwatch has got a lot more features and more characters and a lot more just a lot more for free to play compared to less content. So yeah, Concord is the worst game PlayStation history and possibly the worst game like in gaming history of all time. So yeah, at this point, that's all Sony and the developers are going to have to make a decision on. Is They're probably going to have to make it free to play in order to expand its lifetime. But other than that, that game is just not going to sell whatsoever. 25,000 units in the first week or two of launch, and now only having 54 players on Steam is not a very good look. So, this is Tekken Gaming Reviews. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, smack that like button. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, and we'll keep you posted with more content like this going forward. And let us know in the comment section down below of your thoughts of Concord's failure of Sony's first party launch game, worst first party launch game ever, and probably even the worst game in gaming history ever launch. So just let us know in the comment section down below of your thoughts of Concord's failure and subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.